Um, yeah, can you just let's talk through the injury, how, how it happened? You say, so. um, yeah, it was pretty bad timing because it was um, we did a pretty intense five week block in pre season and then yeah. got into a pretty intense scrum session because we were you know we were about to get into the game, so we um, we had a really good scrum yeah. session. Uh, just towards the end of that, then a scrum just happened to go down, yeah. and uh, to be honest, I don't really can't really remember doing it much. The, right. the boys said they heard like a rip. Said it was almost like a towel ripping, so um, right. had a few funny looks from the props when they got up, and then the arm didn't feel too good. So, yeah. but it wasn't until I walked across here and lay on the bed, it all cramped up. Then, right. so um, okay. yeah, so it came completely off the bone. So, right. it wasn't very good timing. It wasn't the best no. of injuries ever. So, you've done very well, really, to get back yeah. this quickly. Is that just down to real sort of focus and, and, and the medical staff just working really well with yeah, you? Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I owe loads to the medical staff here and the conditioners. They, you know, days off and weekends, they've been, you know, moving me all the way in. Um, and the surgeon as well, he said that I wouldn't be able to play before 12 weeks, so that was a real target as well. Right. So, um, fair play to Joe with the physio. She's put a real good programme together for me, kept me, uh, yeah. you know, mixed it up, kept her entertaining and stuff. And uh, luckily enough, it's, it's come together quite it's well. It's 12 weeks now, was it? Since it was... Know? Well, 12 weeks and a day, I think, uh, on the match right. day. So, um, yeah. yeah, it was a pretty big target match. It was nice to uh, yeah. nice to get up to them. Yeah, I've got three cookers in the Welsh squad as well. It's uh, quite timely as well. <laughs> yeah, it? I know. Well, uh, I was lucky, really. Otherwise, I'd uh, hmm. probably be back with Liverpool playing uh, yeah. down in Gwent, you know, in a big uh, big kind of scrummaging match. So, yeah, uh, First night, uh, yeah it's, it's nice. I know the, the three other boys are away, so um, yeah. I managed to sneak my way back into the regional setup quite. Yeah, I suppose that highlights the competition here as well for the players, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah you know, it's, it's been unbelievable since I joined a few years ago. Yeah. They've always had strong hookers. You know, a lot of boys yeah. have left, Mo Schwalger and, yeah. and Reese Lawrence and stuff have left yeah, as well. Yeah. So um, I, I don't know where they keep on coming from. I hope there's uh, not many left to come. But yeah. yeah, you know, the competition's good, not only on a, on a match day, but during the working week as well. Yeah. We're all pushing each other. So. Yeah. Hopefully, it can only be a good thing, really. But that said, you played a lot of rugby last year. You know, looking a lot of appearances you made last year. Yeah, I was, I was happy with the amount of game yeah. time I had last year. I felt uh, it went quite well. Yeah. So um, it's just you know buy my time and hopefully I'll get some game time this year. And you know boys always pick up knocks and yeah. and form and stuff. So uh, just gotta keep you know keep your head down and keep cracking on, really. Yeah. 20 minutes on the pitch then at the weekend, feeling okay after that? Uh, yes. You look very eager to be coming back onto yeah. the field. <laughs> it's probably everything else apart from the peck, I saw, to be honest. <laughs> um, yeah, it was nice to get 20 years. Yeah. Um, a good blow as well and quite a, a tight game at the end. Yeah. And yeah. it's nice to be part of, you know, the, the scrum went quite well on the weekend, so it was yeah. nice to be part of that and, uh, and to be able to, you know, kill the yeah. game out well yeah. towards the end. So, yeah, it was good. It's nice to get back into it and good to get the win as well. What's Jack do like? Is obviously a, there's a scrimmage there. To be yeah, he's side. good. He's, he's got a, we've got a few props now, almost yeah. the same shape. You know, small and <laughs> yeah. small and stocky, and yeah. he seems to be working at the moment. So yeah. Um, yeah. we've been doing a lot of work with Danny during the week. Yeah. Um, and we've got we've got a good good strength and depth at the moment. Yeah. The front row time. You know, there's a few boys left to come back as well. Yeah. So um, yeah, hopefully you know we yeah. just keep on cracking away and. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we can keep on top of that then. Yeah, because man still got a couple of importers there as well, isn't he? And yeah. And Dupree, is a, is a, they got a couple of South African. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think they seem to pride themselves on, you know, set piece and yeah. scrum time, especially at home. So, you know, yeah. it's, it'll be yeah. more, it'll be a big test this week going out there. Yeah. Um, hopefully the boys can keep it up. It'll, you know, we'll keep yeah. on working harder in training this week and, you know, probably is a, a bigger step this week and it'd be nice to challenge ourselves against... Yeah, you know, a, a big scrum out there. Could you put yourself halfway like, through the season virtually in a good position in the league? I mean, yeah, the league's on really well, really yeah. strong. Um, we're really happy with that because yeah. with the international boys away, we, you know, Simon really challenged us to keep that up. Yeah. And um, and he said, you know, if you're playing well, you, there's a yeah. chance you'll keep the shirt. So you know, the boys yeah. have come in, yeah. fair play to them, they're playing real well, and yeah. to keep that uh, the position in as well, second in the league. Yeah, it's uh, we need to get momentum going now. So. It's big. Four or five weeks coming up, isn't it? In Munster, Ulster, you've got Exeter and yeah. Mining Cup, and then it's Ospreys and Blues. And yeah, there's some, there's some huge games going up, yeah. so that's why it's great now, especially front row wise with our strength and depth. And then yeah. the new, all the new second rows that come in, they're all pushing each other, and yeah. there's going to be a lot of back rows coming back from Wales as well. Yeah. So yeah. the boys here are keen, so you know, not just front, not just hooker wise or front row, the whole no. pack's yeah. real strong. So, um, 
Yeah, it's good. It's a real good environment at the moment, yeah. so hopefully we can keep it up. Laying out an area that probably needs to improve after last week. Yeah, that's we spoke about this morning. Yeah. Considering we were quite dominant in the scrum, we yeah. were a bit disappointed that maybe that wasn't up mm. to the standard it has been the last few weeks. So, yeah. um, bit of good and a bit of bad. So uh, yeah. we want to equal that out, keep the scrum going well, but yeah. obviously we have to improve the line out this week. Yeah. And playing in Cork, obviously they've got a strong record. Work on home soil, it's gonna be a tough ask, isn't it? Yeah, you know, anytime you play Manchester, even yeah. with or without internationals, they've got such strong yeah. uh, foreign input as well. Yeah. They, you know, they're always strong. So, um, yeah. we're looking forward to it. We, you know, we're gonna go in. It's nice yeah. to get the win on the weekend, and yeah. hopefully, you know, if we do get a few boys back from Wales and filter in, we can go there full of confidence then. Talking about our foreign input, I saw Joel Jill on the sidelines mm. at the home game. What do, what do they sort of some of our international foreign international players bring to the in terms of the setup to the energy? Fair play, the, well, especially the three South Africans. They they love it. They said mm. you know they they can't believe the the crowd when they're going to test scores and just popping out for a drink. But they yeah. can't believe people coming up to them and talking to them. And yeah. George especially loves it. That you know they're belting yeah. out uh, in the changing room afterwards when we have a little sing song. They love. Uh, yeah. They love all of that, and they stay after the game, speak to all the crowds. And yeah. but I think if you come to an environment like this, you really have to take it on. And yeah. fair play to them; they've you know they've really gone headfirst into it. Yeah. And you know every everyone we've signed so far this year has made made a big input. Yeah. Fair play to them.